so we're just going to flick over now towards the final because I do believe it will be. Um, so Gary Hook greets the finalists on his time to lock for the final. Best of luck to you both. Half on that, Ryan Butterworth. Great display from you both all day. We're the best man win. Good luck. Yes, I'm sure you. We're about to commence in the back room, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you heard Paul Book there. There was no need for me to uh, to repeat the uh, the information. Ryan obviously winning the lag, and we'll be breaking first. So it's the best of 13 frames, first to seven. The winner will receive 400 pounds and and uh, and 40 ranking points towards the grand final. The runner-up will receive £200 and 32 points towards the grand final. And here we go. That black is getting ever so near. No, it's not going to go, though. Just got information from the other uh, third and fourth playoff that John Gillen's 1-0 up. They are only playing best of three, so that is uh, quite significant. So Ryan has actually potted balls off his break and he's just having a look around to see what he wants to go for. I think he's wanting to take reds. Um, whether he actually can or not, I don't know. Daz has just rejoined us in the commentary booth. I'm back, Phil. Have I missed much? Well, Ryan just broke off. Balls are down, but he's, he's yet to choose. He does have a choice. It's up to him. I think he would like reds, to be honest, but I don't know whether he can uh, he can pop one and stay on his next one, so he may be taking yellows. And yellow it is. So yes, he's gone the yellows, and uh, he's, he's only got, well, it, no, he's actually got two problem balls. Let's see which way he tries and uh, takes them. He, oh. might, he might be looking at trying to play this, Daz, to leave the one in the, to the uh, bottom centre as we view it, uh, and uh, potentially he's go gone in. too far, Phil. Yeah, so. he has, he has. I think that's the end of that. I think he was trying to leave an angle to go into the both the yellow and the red to split them open, but yes. Congratulations to John Gillen coming third. Yes, sir, fourth. Yes, well done, John. Best of three, so the best of three um, <laughs> has been won by John Gillen. <laughs> yes, very good guys. Good show from both of them chat those uh, players today, though, Phil. Been a long day for the for the fellas, but they've um, they love the game. That's what they're here for. Third and fourth, some good ranking points between them. So he's just going to play this fill into the top bag, do you reckon, and just leave the white ball roughly where it is? Well, this isn't easy. Th sorry, this pot's, this pot's okay, but it's the next pot that isn't easy. Wow. And he's missed it. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, I'm sorry, but you, you're not going to have to miss chances like that against our fan, because yeah, you yeah. will be punished. Well, do not blink, fellas, the, because the it will be 1-0 in a matter of seconds. The way this, this guy's been playing today, Phil, it's been outstanding. If you just watch his cue action, if you just watch the way he approaches the shots. I've just said earlier on, actually, when I'm watching his game, uh, stood at the bar, he's just effortless, Phil. Effortless. He just makes it look so easy. He strokes them in, does. Just like all the top players, they make the game look extremely easy. You just don't... You don't see him missing, that's the thing. Once he gets in, you just do not see him missing. Well, he doesn't. That's the big thing. He, yeah, I think he, that's it. He, that's exactly he right. He doesn't see himself missing, so he's got the, he's got the confidence. He I mean, there we go. That, that, that's it there. Just played it off the bottom cushion. Yeah. 
No worries whatsoever. On and off the cushion. Yes. And straight in the centre of the pocket, so that's 1-0 to our fan. He's not going to miss this one. And there so we go, so 1-0 up. Our fan supremely confident. No issues whatsoever. You cannot afford to give our fan chances like that. So half on breaking, he's gone in off with the white. Well, what a break as well, Phil. Well, and look, <laughs> it should be one all. Look at those reds. Honestly, do we have? Does he? Does Ryan have to pot these? Well, <laughs> to be honest, Phil, if he misses these, he might as well put his cue away and go home. Thanks, John. Thank you. John Gillen just leaving the building. Excellent. Uh, Effort yeah, today. Good performance from him and Lewis, who's leaving as well. Well, he's gone too far, Daz. That's unbelievable. What is going on? That that's uh, that's a bad shot from Ryan. Is that? He's he's okay. He's actually gone that far that it's come back out, and he can actually still pot this red. It's still um, still not a good shot. No, I I, I probably think he's going to use both reds here, um, but he can do that. Does he clip it in, or is he going to plant it? Phil? No, he's going to plant it, Daz. That this isn't going straight in. And he's missed it, look. Well. Wow. Well, <laughs> I did say <laughs> if Ryan misses, he might as well put his cue in and go home. But, uh, Again, I mean, you look at this, it's 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 a pressure ball, is this? Let's see what our fan does. Straight, straight in the centre of the pocket, Phil. Never a doubt. Absolute straight in the centre. What you give to Q like half an is it's uh, it's unbelievable. He's ju has he just done enough there? Uh, Sean saying is that a sign of tension? Uh, a sign of a bit of tension on nerves? Oh, you're probably you're probably right there, Sean. To be fair, it is a big game, and That's he knows um, Ryan uh, obviously knows if he misses. <laughs> And leaves our fan in. He's going to be punished for it. And what a shot that will fill. <laughs> Tell Ryan to untie his <laughs> shoe it again. Yeah, earlier on, um, smash it. I don't know if we ever found out who it was. I said <laughs> Ryan uh, <laughs> shoe was undone, <laughs> and that's why we were playing well. Oh, I'm with you. <laughs> What, he's tied his shoelaces? He's tied his shoelaces it? up, yeah. And he's, uh, <laughs> and he's human, Phil. Well. He's human. <laughs> you're right, he is. And that is a massive uh, shock. But also an opportunity for Ryan. And uh, he must... Grab hold of this with both hands. He's got to do, Phil. Shake it by the scruff of the neck and make sure that he does clear up. Well, it's a chance, Phil, but I don't think that's not not ideal position. Well, t to get the position for the next red, he's going to have to hit this reasonably hard. Now, in doing that, if he does and it misses... And he hasn't missed, but... Well... Again, uh, he's not in prime position. Now then... What does he do here? Does he go for the cut? Does he go for the double? Well, he's gone for the centre back, Phil. Now, can Arfan clip this in? Oof. 
It's very tight to the cushion. It's a it's a tough old shot, is this one? If he plays it onto the cushion first with loads of right hand side on it, does, and then takes it onto the yellow as it comes off. Yes. Big shot. Actually, no, he doesn't even need to do that. Just looking at this. That that's oof. Well. Wow. Percentage shot there then. Well, it's sufficiently over the cushion, over the bag now that if uh, if Ryan were to miss, and uh, no, and it's, is it is it a big bag fill or does it go in? It's going in the centre oh, with this one. It's a centre bag, is this? All day long. Centre bag. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> all so right. one all. Centre bag off the knuckle. <laughs> You'll take it. Listen, there's a lot of tension. It's the it's the final. There's a lot of money being played for. You double your money here. Yeah, four hundred pound for the winner, two hundred pound for the runner-up. Is it? It is. It's. It, it, there's quite a difference. Yes. Um, there's also quite a difference in ranking points. To be honest, you know, if you win an event, you would be highly unlikely to miss miss out on the grand final. Exactly. Um, so really, you know, you're guaranteeing yourself into the grand final for, for all intents and purposes. If you do do if you do win the event today. So there's quite a lot at stake. Yes, the yellow's dropped. Oh. So another good break there, Phil. Oh yeah, it's just a bit of a shame those two yellows came together towards the left-hand side of the table. Can you see the, uh, the the one closest to the red zone, Phil, first? I'm not sure he can from this. He's uh, having a look. I think you're right. So Damien telling us that he will be at the next one then. Is that because uh, Damien wants to win it and get into the grand final? He's, he's coming, yeah. He's having it. Listen, I like it. I like Damien's confidence. Regardless of the uh, of the ranking points and the eligibility to get into the grand final, there is £960 to play for in every single event. Yes, it's uh, a nice, nice pot, Phil. Tremendous nice pot of money. It is. It's tremendous prize pot. £960. Well worth just entering any event for. Of course, it is limited to the uh, the initial 48 players who signed up. But if they, for whatever reason, cannot make it that time... Yeah, we're trying to fill it with uh, replacement players so that we don't have any buys, which we've managed to do today. Yeah. Even with the, a late dropout at 8.30 this morning. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Mr. Wilson. We, <laughs> we we obviously can and and will play with buys if we need to do, but we we don't want to. And so we we will try and fill it at all costs. Sorry, yeah, uh, just there getting um, <laughs> getting the the college just coming around with the uh, curry order. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the final, does that's seriously important. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, sorry, I haven't put the colours on here. Ryan's on the yellows. Daz, you were discussing food. I am discussing surprised. Discussing food. Uh, Damien's asking why did he drop out. Well, um, seemingly Rob had to uh, work today. <laughs> yeah, and and work, and I've always said work has to come first, and, and yes. if, if that is the case, you you must put your work first. So half I'm playing the safety shot there, tying the black up. Oh, Ryan's a very good potter, Phil. Oh, he is. So obviously, uh, half I knows that as well. He does. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not as um, uh, clinically correct with his white ball. Uh, but, he, but he recovers a lot of situations by the fact he's an excellent single ball potter. Well, Damien there, uh, mentioning the fact that Rob doesn't like the pro cup balls, and uh, yes, that's a well-known fact. He doesn't. Which you can't understand why, because I'm sure um, if Rob practiced with them, they'd suit his game down to the ground. Yeah, and, and we can no longer shy away from the fact that... Uh, Pro Cups are the way to go. Are they going to be the norm, of, to of, be fair? Of any, of any sort of serious competition, um, that the Pro Cups are the balls being used. That's unlucky. That we're a good effort from half on there to play safe. Well, Black is still well tied up, Daz. 
It says. You know, I think uh, I think he's having to look at the fact that if he, if he can pop these two down here and get onto his last yellow, he can play into the yeah. Into the black. He, he, well, he's going to have to do because there's no point playing safe now. He isn't doing, and it's no, all about the angle he gets on this. And, that, and that's a great angle, I think, Phil. That isn't bad. He's definitely going to get into them. Obviously, he's uh, he's uh, trusting to look that he will be able to have a pot afterwards. But at least he can move into these balls. And he's played that. Oh, oh that is so so unlucky. Ryan. Great effort from Ryan there. Yeah, very unlucky, Ryan. He did... I don't know, did he play it a little quick? I was just going to say, maybe he hit it a little hard, Phil, that's all. Yeah, I just... Maybe did he, he rushed it a little bit? Maybe another look. He can, he's all. hit it anyway, so he hasn't He hasn't given two shots away. Yeah, um, Sean saying there that half and made him play that shot. He tempted him into it. Yes, he did. So nice uh, safety there from half on. And uh, all his balls are in the open now. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can actually hit this off the top cushion, Daz, um, with that red beam where it is over the middle bag, there's a, there's a, a better pocket. chance of that going in. It is a big bag. I'm not saying he can or will hit it, but I wouldn't be actually... He's trying to hit this off two cushions, Daz. I'm surprised at that. I'm surprised he's not just coming off the top cushion. Whoa. Oh, oh that's red that's red unlucky. The that is red. unlucky. Well. Well, there we go, Phil. Um, it, you've got to you got to fancy it too, one to our fan now. If you can see this right-hand red of these two towards the right-hand side of the table, I think it's uh, frame over. He can, he's looking at it now. Well, hang on a second. Oh, result. Did he go for that, Daz? Do you know, Phil, I just looked away and missed it. <laughs> but uh, it being half an hour, I'd probably say yes. Well, he didn't flinch. <laughs> no. He didn't fl <laughs> He didn't flinch and I blinked and it's gone, so that's 2-1, That's 2-1, yes. Uh, excellent clearance and applause from Mark Lamb there. Pleasure to watch. Quality pool. Yet again. Half and lighting up our tables. I missed it. I was looking. I was looking. Yeah, they're like, they're, we've got the uh, the other half of the stream team just, um, you know, trying to pick a fault now because uh, they talk for, uh, you know, 25 minutes without pushing the button for the uh, microphones to come on. <laughs> Is this a dry break, Phil? That second one now from our fan. Look at those yellows, mate. Look at those yellows. Well... I'm, th I'm thinking the yellow um, nearest the red, if, the, if he's got the potting angle on that. Could be all over. Tough first shot. Ah, he's making sure, he's making sure to start with. Where's he going? Well, that, that's not the best shot in the world, Phil. No, but he can still take this one into the top, into the top left as we see it. It definitely Do does go. Do you think go, it goes? Does. That, does it go? It definitely goes. What is well, he doing? Well, no, obviously not. Well, it's good shot. Right. There. He's played that well. Good shot. Good containing yeah. shot. Damien saying half hands break is poor. 
Will you tell him that? Because yeah, I'm not going to do I'm it. I'm not going to tell him that. Because, um, <laughs> at, when he was uh, not when he was just practicing, he went on the stream table with Nick Calvary, and he had five break dishes. So, um, <laughs> if that's poor, I'll have one of them poor breaks. <laughs> Well, half and uh, you know, he hit his balls there, Daz. Put, uh, do you want to put the colours on, mate? What's he on? Yeah. So, the S Damon, if you fancy telling him his brakes poor, I'll just point it out to him on the street afterwards. <laughs> I'll let him know you told him it uh, that you said his break was bad. Oh, poor, sorry. Well, that, that is definitely not the best. It's a good start for Ryan. Gets him uh, up, back up the table towards his awkward balls. As we've said, he's a good single ball potter, is Ryan. He'll only get stronger with confidence. This looks good. Look how good that one is. Yeah, that's uh, landed nicely for him. Perfect. To be honest with you, Daz, once he's got rid of this one, there, there isn't a bad ball on the table. No, I agree with you there, Phil. He's got the angle and everything to make this quite easy, this clearance, if he uh, chooses to do so. Just got to make sure he does it the right way. Doesn't let the white ball go. Yeah, he's played that well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Just come down the table now. Just got one. probably probably the bottom one first, Phil. Yeah, well, try and play onto the onto the other one first. But if it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off. No, he's fine there. He's fine there, Phil. Oh, that's actually very nice because he can come into the he yep. can come into the red off the cushion and make sure that he keeps on that yellow. He can. Well, oh, I'm surprised he's playing this one first. He, he isn't. He isn't. He's just going to. I'm going to say. He's going to play this and, and go into this red and make sure that he, he gets a good position. I on think that's yellow. a shot to play. Whoa. And he's not playing it, so... He's got to be so careful here, because if he hits the wrong side of this red, having potted the yellow, he won't have a shot on the yellow. If he hits the right side of the red, he will do. But that's a big risk. Well, he's done it. He's, he's played done it. it. He's played it all right. Yeah, love the shot. I'll tell you what, though. It's not... It's a bit straight, this, Phil. It's not the ideal angle, does He can pinch a little, but there's not much is there. Is he pinching or does he have to screw off the back off the cushion? I think he has to just leave it where it is, does and leave a long black. He's screwing it. And that's where you go and miss. I like his position. wasn't bad, but unfortunately... That's the problem when you try to do too much with the uh, white ball. You can end up missing the shots. And half and straight down, there's not much thinking about it. He knows what he wants to do. I agree, we've got yeah, Yasser Sen stood behind us calling all the right shots. <laughs> well, that's confidence for you. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. Distance won't bother him. He'll just be going for the uh, the top red of these two together. There he goes. Yeah, that's perfect now. <laughs> ah, that's great. Just uh, perfect angle. As we've said before, it makes it look effortless. So this is 3-1 uh, to our fan. Yes, well played. Good clearance. He'll take anything like that, will our fan? Yes. 
So Yasser leaving us now after a, a good uh, good day's work. Good friend of mine. And yeah. Uh, great to see him. Yeah, nice to see Yas. One of the nicest fellas you could care to meet. Yeah, we was teammates for a while. I, d- I was uh, talking earlier on about um, when Yas first started playing. We knew him when he first started playing, Phil, really, didn't we? We did. Yeah, uh, we did. And we all said he was uh, he had a lot of potential. Did toy with the snooker for a while. Ah, he still does, does. And he still yeah, does. Yeah, he, he still does. Uh, but uh, play snooker in a, a local snooker league on, uh, I believe it's Monday, Monday or Tuesdays. I think I think he yeah. got a, a seventy-one the other, just just the just last. Just a steady seventy-one, Phil. Yeah, in a league match though, you know that's uh, you know just a, a frame, single frame job. It's no no practice or anything. No, <laughs> not to seventy-one in in his match. Great cueist. Yeah, yeah, lovely cueist. He goes, does go for some uh, unorthodox shots at some times, but uh, that's yes, and you're not going to change him. He's not going to change any time soon, he said. And why should he when he gets results like he does? Correct. And uh, from one great cueist to another? If everybody played the same, it'd be uh, quite a boring, uh, boring game. Half and looking good here. I know he's, he looks a little disappointed with that positional shot. Yeah, I think he wanted to run a little further with the white ball, Phil, so he could uh, well, I think he just drop that in. I think he wanted more of a, steep, a steeper angle, but to be honest, he, he can force this. and he, Yeah, he's, he's all right. Yeah, that's, that's a good shot. He's just, he's just come too far, but he, he should be okay. Well, it's thin, but it goes. And to be honest, the yellow's... Um, he's he's going to be going into these two reds, so I'm sure he'll be able to stay on one of these two yellows. Well, well, he went for the he went <laughs> he went oh, for the double fill. Audacious, mate! Audacious. <laughs> um, that's the only word that comes to mind. Yes, and he's got away <laughs> with that, really. I think. All right, Ryan does have a, a long shot into the uh, top bag. Yeah, but after that, mate, what? what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after that, it's still a struggle. You know, um, where the yellows are, it, it's. Uh, his hot favourite is Arfan at the moment, unless Ryan pulls something out of the bag. And that isn't bad. That isn't bad. He's just going to yeah play on the top ready yeah. and leave it behind the uh, reds. Well done. Well, he's Good left a, I don't know if he's left him a chance out here, Phil. Does he want to get out of it, does? Well, that's the point. He's going to look at this and think, well, if I push one of your reds even safer, what are you going to do about it? He's called Total Phil. <laughs> so he's having to go at these. Well, yeah, that's a great shot. He's got it. He's got it. <laughs> so Chris Sykes, 82, says, come on, Ryan, lad. To be fair, Ryan win or lose, he's had uh, an excellent day today. Played very, very well. He certainly has. Played him a few times, Daz, and he he's a good player. I tell you if you if you if you leave his his potting is amazing. Yes. If you, if I you mean, leave if him he, on, he'll take If him. he does lose position and his uh, potting does get him out of it sometimes. That side of his game will come. Well, that's a good shot. That is a lovely shot, actually, because he can now take this one into the bottom left-hand corner as we view yeah, the table. And develop and the red. Try and develop the red. There's an excellent chance here for him. Well, we just had Rast, Rast Tunnicliffe stumble into the uh, commentary box area. <laughs> 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 
Well, he wasn't that happy with the angle, Daz. Uh, no, I'm surprised he didn't take that on then, Phil, because I, I thought he had the uh, perfect angle for it. It wasn't just the perfect angle. I think you need to address your bad balls early, mate. You do. If you, cho if you choose to take it at the last ball... Now, he's not got good position here, Phil. Well, it, he's OK, actually. He, he's, he's the only thing is, is that what he's going to end up doing now is he's going to end up... Well, he's looking at playing that red off, red off the yellow now. He's looking at dropping this in and playing the red off the yellow. But I think this is a lot more risky than the other shot before that he had. Well, last of it. I mean, the angle he's left himself it's, there. And he's not come right with that white ball at all, really, for that shot. I, I'd, I'd still be cutting the other one in, mate, and trying to get the red ball yeah. out of the way. And he had this shot. He had this shot, only a better shot at this before. He didn't, didn't necessarily a better shot. He also had the other balls at the top of the table. That's in case right. He missed. So, let's see what happens. As you said before, Phil, you always address your difficult ball as soon as you can. Yeah, you've got to get them out early. You see, now he's doing... Now he's doing the shot that he could have played uh, a couple of shots ago. No, he could have guaranteed himself. He'd have been on the, one of the reds up at the, the top end of the table now. If he'd have done that earlier on and missed... He can still do it, Daz, don't get me he wrong. He can, he can. I'm not saying he can't do it, Phil. He does go, but there is no guarantee what happens here. I mean, one of the yellows could come, up, come back up and stop the black. And uh, he's, uh, there you go. Now all Arfan's got to do is uh, play safe. Actually, Arfan could even go for it here now, Phil. He could play this into the centre, play the yellow uh, off of he the yellow of the pocket. But he, he could, mate, but I bet he doesn't. No. Actually, he's just looked at that. Does that yellow go without uh, going near it, Phil? Well, if it goes, then I'll, he'll go for it. because He's just, he's just had a look now as Arfan. Half and will do this. And, and I tell you what, it, I think it does. To be fair, you could even hit cushion first with some left-hand side on it. You'd hit the yellow, then you'd hit the right side of the of the red to come back up for your next yellow. Yeah. So it's quite safe in doing this. He's going for this, so I think that goes, Phil. Yeah, the way he's played that, that definitely goes. Well, I'm sure it does from the top side, does. There's yes, enough, there's it enough does. Room there. It does. He's going to play this in, and that, that yellow must go. He just runs this onto the cushion, right, mate, and it's in. Yeah, it goes to that. He's having a look now just where he wants to leave the white ball. And I'm 100% uh, sure this goes, otherwise half of wouldn't have gone for this. Wow. Well, well. Okay. I'm surprised at that. He's still not uh, done any damage, has he, so... And there's no way you can guarantee knocking the black onto the red to keep the black behind the red, so... He hasn't done as much damage as, uh, you know, he could have done. But he's always... The thing is, you give, you've given Ryan a chance again now. He's back at the table. And uh, anything can happen. Well, you're right there. It can, but... T to be able to get the red out of the way of those two yellows and not put the white ball onto one of those yellows, he's well. Look at the angle he's looking at there, Daz. Yeah, he's going to try. Yeah, it's a diff. I'm, I'm not saying it's easy, Phil. It's a it's a difficult shot. But no, if he's if he's going to try and kick this out, he's he'll be very lucky not to not to move on to one of those two yellows. I agree, Phil. I agree with you there. But yeah. I mean, look at that. Where's Black going? <laughs> <laughs> <I mean, laughs> that's like <laughs> every ball on the table move there. <laughs> okay then. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of half and uh, just dropping these in. And that's going to take it to 4 1. So half on needing three more frames. Ryan needing six. Hey, Sean saying it's uh, this could be hit and hope. I agree there. There was no guarantee where anything was going when he did that. <laughs> yeah, half on to break. Leading four frames to one. And there's still quite a lot of players in the club, Phil, as well. Yeah. It's all right, Daz, no Apolo problem. Apologies there for the uh, scoreboard sliding across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> the scoreboard decided to go 
To the uh, left for a while. <laughs> so half has spotted a yellow, but he's going to be going reds here, Phil. Is that what you think, Daz? I, I definitely what think that. What makes you think that, then? I no? think I'd be putting my mortgage <laughs> on this and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, seeing as there's uh, red over the pocket, uh, red's all in the open, and he's going to even, he's that confident he's taking this one first. <laughs> and that's fantastic, great shot. That's it now, and that's what we were saying earlier about addressing your bad balls early doors. Exactly, Phil. He's, with he's the extreme confidence that our fan plays with. He's done, he's done exactly that. And uh, everything we're getting a lot of now. abuse now from uh, Patrick Starr, <laughs> alias Paul Buck, in the background. Yeah, she almost in reds all day long, and I yeah, obviously Sean I agreed with that. It's just a case of keeping hold of the white ball, and that's one thing that uh, Arfan does extremely well. Yeah, it's frighteningly good. Uh, the white ball control that Arfan has. Especially on these tables, Phil, they're so quick as well. So quick. And yet, a little touch like that. Fantastic. Pleasure to watch, Daz. Pleasure to watch. So, I just take this one to the centre, Phil. And uh, the red into the top bag. Back down for the other red into the bottom corner. He's even run, that, that's uh, even better. Yeah, there was there was uh, an element of luck in that one, Daz. There was. What but he will tell you he played for it, and I believe him. <laughs> yeah, well, this is all good. I mean, does it does he uh, does he run it through with some uh, with some right hand side and uh, make sure he gets to the other side of the black, or having hit the cushion at the bottom, or what we're thinking here, Daz? Are we stunning it off two cushions? What we're doing? You know, Phil, it's hard to say with our fan. I don't know which he prefers. Go. I don't know. I don't know which he prefers. Let's find out. Yep, just played it off the cushion. Beautiful. That's unlucky. -ish. Well, unlucky, but <laughs> unlucky, but lucky. <laughs> Did you see how I changed my, uh, uh, lucky, my opinion? Unlucky. -ish. There? <laughs> <laughs> the white was still rolling, and uh, he can do this. He can slug this and make sure that he stays on the black. This Patrick Starr's been playing around with the um, PowerPoint by the look of it. Yes, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's done a pretty picture. I believe that's a house pole with four windows <laughs> and the <a> door. <laughs> he's, lo he's looking for praise, Phil, but he's not going to get any, is he? <laughs> I tell you what, though, he's not done a bad job. It's not, I mean, it would have been better if it fit on the screen, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a, oh, what a shot black. from our fan. Five frames to one. Fantastic black. Yes, well done. <laughs> to be fair, Ryan's done uh, pretty much nothing wrong, Phil, really. He's not... He's not He's not done a lot wrong, and he's 5-1 down. No, he's not missed much, has he? But that's what happens, I'm afraid. You know, you get to you get to this level, and uh, that's that's the difference, isn't it? It is. And uh, he's got a bit of support in the club tonight, has Ryan. He's uh, a few of his... Uh, he's, a, he's an exceptionally good player, is Ryan. Yeah, a few of his mates are there uh, cheering him on. A few of the other f Uddersfield guys. Rash Tunnicliffe, Chris Dyson. Well, look at that. Wow, 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 wow! Now if that red, st oh, it has as well. It's red stayed, stayed out. out. The, but, only, um, the only it's problem be, is this red. I think he's taking yellows, Phil. I think he'll take the yellows. I think he has to do. Does? <laughs> I think he has to do. Patrick Starr has, has um, yeah, once again amazed us. <laughs> I just, uh, we're going we're gonna, 
in in a second we're going to flick across what when this when this frame's over oh that's, that's a, a nice great shot. shot that's a great shot well, there from ryan well done ryan that's a great shot we, it, when, when this frame's over we're going to flick across and show you what patrick star's been doing Yeah, we want you to grade him on it. <laughs> I don't know why we don't just drop it onto the main computer and just display it on the screen, but, you know, yeah, no, if, so if, he, if he wants to take a, a camera... To, to be honest, oh, uh, that's, a, that's a bit technical for, uh, for Paul, I'm, is I'm, that? I'm sorry, but he's ruined it. <laughs> There's no way we can show that now. So a little bit of a stretch here for Ryan. Very diplomatically put, does. <laughs> <laughs> it is difficult, but I think it's the only shot that it, uh, that's on. He needs to take this. He needs this. to take this now. He played for this. And he's going to take it. He should just be got okay. To, just got to watch. He doesn't took he that. Uh, oh, does. Oh, he's missed it, Phil. Well, well, that was just was stretching. To be honest, it, it was a hell of a stretch for him. To be honest, he could have got a rest out though. There's rest at the club. He could have got a rest out and played it with a rest. He could have done. Yeah, he could have done. That's a great shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. That from is Marfan. an excellent shot. It wasn't just about the pot. It was for getting on this red here. Does that go in down in the centre pocket, for, uh, into the bottom pocket, Phil? Well, it or does it go in the centre? It goes into the centre bag, does it? I mean, even, even if he moves the black slightly, it won't matter. It doesn't even touch the black, Phil. What never, a shot. Never touch the sides. I don't think he'd be going for that one first. No, he'll play this one now and go down for the uh, difficult red on the uh, right, bottom just cushion. Just run across for the red. There we go. As we say, don't leave your difficult one for last. Uh, in pop or this over. now, in or over. Then the top, the top red in the top pocket. And he's just back down for the red in the centre, uh, the black in the centre, and that will put Arfan on the hill. Yes, so six one to Arfan Dad. A uh, bit of a masterclass, this Phil. It is. It is very special, and anyone who's viewing this must agree that. Uh yeah, Sean. Sean agrees with me there, Phil. He's saying, "Why didn't he get the rest out?" Uh, exactly right, Sean. There's rest in the club, they're all available, we could have had one out, he could have asked for it and he could have had one. Well, without a doubt, does. Without a doubt. <laughs> but this is quite special. Actually, uh, I think half I'm just Ted why didn't get the rest out to him, because... Um, and uh, he said, I'm useless with the rest. Yes, yeah, Sean, I agree. It is exceptional quality. you just got to sit back and admire it when it happens. And he's been doing it all day. <laughs> and there we go. And he's potted the ball anyway, though, but uh, <laughs> that's got to be his worst break of the night, and he's potted the ball. Yeah, this will be difficult now to take out, so I can't see him doing it. Is he touching? Is it one of those touching? Uh, is the white touching one of those two balls? It's tough to say, Phil. He's having a look now. He's having another look. It's, 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 it's called, I think, touching ball, Phil. Yeah, the problem is if, if it's the yellow, I mean, is he going for this? Wowzer. So what did he actually... Uh, what? Well, he must have called yellow. To be honest, yellow, I think... So if, well, <laughs> if we're saying yellow's there... Oh, no. If he was touching the yellow... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, to be honest, there, Phil, because I didn't know. I don't know, mate. Let, let's uh, let's see what Ryan's uh, reaction is to this. He looks to be going for yellows as well. And that's a great shot from Ryan. That's a cracking pot. And that's what we meant about Ryan being an excellent single ball potter. He can recover most situations. Sean saying then, did you see the reaction on the cue ball? <laughs> Yeah, he's letting his arm go, he's Ryan. Well, it's nothing to lose now, Phil. No, I'm sure... I'm he's 6-1 sure we'll, uh, six, six down. Um, sometimes it helps. He, 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 he thinks it's all over. Yeah. He's nothing to lose. He's going to throw his arm at it. And, uh, yeah, a bit of safety there, look. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, good shot from Ryan. 
half on tapping the table because it, it was a particularly good shot. But to, to win this now, Ryan's got to win, uh, win six frames on the trot. And um, that's going to be a tough ask. Well, six frames on the trot means three half hands of, uh, you know, three breaks from half hand. And, yeah. And uh, wow. If he did it, well, just uh, hats off to him, but it's a, it's a very tough ask. That's two. Two shots. Two shots, and I can't see uh, well, many problems with this one, Daz. No. Ryan will let his arm go, and we'll, uh, we'll be able to That's see his potting ability. That's not the best shot, though, Phil, again. He's all right, Daz. In, on and off the cushion. Well, he's missed that one. It's difficult. Diffi oh, it's, it's gone in. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, it, the, 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 the yellow closest to the red goes into the centre when he screws back on this one. All right. least that's not a good shot again. He's, uh, <laughs> All right, he doesn't. I don't, I don't know why. He, yeah, that 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 it, wasn't a good shot, Phil. At all, he can actually still take this into the centre, does, and come off round the cushion by by the red and the black, and go off two cushions and still still leave himself on the other red. So it's this I, is not easy I, though. I st I st well, what's he doing there? Well, well, no. I, I just don't understand that one. I, well, because he's uh, he's tied his yellow up. He was he was setting it up though, I, uh, you know you can understand what he was trying to do. And he's unlucky not to hit that, but uh, this is all from his shot with far away. So well, I, t I tell you what, the angle he's, he's left his white ball on that that does actually go. Chris Sykes says Chris Sykes eighty two says uh, comeback time. Um, that's <laughs> audacious little number there from uh, Ryan, but. I've got a feeling it's all over. Well, if he can pot this half hand and come back into the red and the black here, I think it is all over. And he tried to do that. He didn't actually manage it. He's got a chance again, though, now. Phil is going to play this in the top bag. He's got the absolutely perfect angle now. Yeah, he can drop, knock this out. He's going to be on the one in the centre. Yes. No. No, he's, he's still right on the one in the bottom. And you, you fancy uh, half hand to pot this. Lovely. Straight in the centre of the pocket. Well played. Well, he can just play this now. He's going to knock the red up towards the top corner pocket, I believe. No, it's not even needed to do it, Phil. It's just dropping it in. That's confidence for you. So, red in the centre, black in the top bag. <laughs> Can't even call him anymore, Phil. <laughs> well, you don't need to do him, and he's he's uh, he's buzzing. And what a finish! Amazing. Yeah, I think it's all over, as uh, Chris says. Brilliant. Yes, well played, half and dad. Seven frames to one. An absolute masterclass. Well done, daddy. Brilliant. Absolutely great display. Well done, pal.